I do three things in my workshop. I repair stuff, I modify things, and other things I make from scratch. Some things I make out of hard plastics, foams, soft plastics, big stuff, medium-sized stuff. But no matter what I'm trying to do, I'm always trying to simplify things and, and actually develop processes that you yourself could do uh, on your kitchen table in your apartment. One of the issues that's been difficult has been coming up with a real simple way and clean way to paint with an airbrush system. I've discovered something recently that I want to share with you that's pretty cool. It's called a Copic system. And instead of having acrylic paints, it's based upon inks. Here I've got a blank that I made out of a mold a long time ago, and I'll just uh, paint it real quickly just to kind of show you how the, how the system works. One rule with alcohol-based inks, which is what these are, is that you have to start light, then go to dark. Now I've got a light belly, and now I'm gonna go to dark. Let's say I wanna go with a little bit of, uh, of uh, yellow. There's two different tips. The one that you want to use is this wedge-shaped tip. The marker just clips in there like that. Now you'll notice there's a little air thing here and a hose that goes back to a standard pump. You can also get just a little canister, so you really don't even need a compressor. But anyway, I've got my compressor. Pretty much like a regular uh, dual-action airbrush. Other than not needing any ventilation, by far the coolest part of this system is the fact that you don't have to clean a paint cup every, every time you change paint. Pull out a marker, clip it in, start again. Now this is another color yellow, a fluorescent. Ooh, that's really yellow. So this system, you have no cups to clean, and you don't have to worry about a tip getting clogged up either. This thing is really slick. Now, it can't do everything that a conventional airbrush with acrylics can do, like metallics, for example, but it changes quickly. It doesn't require any cleaning. The stuff doesn't evaporate. It's reasonably priced, and I think is a great alternative. Plus, I figured out how to use it with soft plastics, too. That's for another time.